So today I've got my hands on the Tesla Model Y and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. When I first saw pictures of this car, I thought it just looked like a fat Model 3. Plus it has slower naught to 60 and it costs five grand more. So why would you want one? Well, actually now I've had one for today's test drive, I can actually see why a lot of people are really falling in love with this car. So I'm here at the Trafford Center in Manchester and Tesla have invited me in today to test drive the Tesla Model Y. So let's go get it. So we checked in and waited a few minutes to get our Model Y to test drive. In the showroom was a white Model Y with white interior, which was really nice. I love that color combination. Now, before we jump into the Model Y, let's quickly compare the current pricing to the Tesla Model 3. Now, the Tesla Model 3 has a long range model, which is 49,000 pounds and does 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds and has a claimed range of 374 miles. The Model Y's version of the long range is £54,000, does 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds and a range of 331 miles. The Model 3 performance is £59,000, does 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds and has a claimed 340 mile range. The Performance Model Y is £64,000, does 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds and has a claimed range of 319 miles. We were test driving the Model Y long range with the 20 inch induction wheels which will set you back another £2,100 but they do look pretty nice. Now at the moment there isn't a standard range Model Y but apparently one is coming very soon. We've got a new car. So the biggest difference between the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3 is of course the height. And in the photos, I really didn't think this would be this much big of a difference, but it really is. Just take a look between these two. Next up is the boot space. The Model Y has a huge boot and because it has this SUV style opening, you actually get twice as much space as you do compared to the Tesla Model 3. Now, of course, you can put the seats down in the Model 3, but what I like about the Model Y here is that you have these two buttons on the side and you can just press these and this will automatically put the seats down for you. So you have tons of room in here, maybe for prams, for bikes, for boxes, anything you want really. So you've also got the trunk in the Model Y as well. And this looks about the same width, but it is actually a little bit deeper as well. So a little bit more storage in the front too. Now in the Model Y, as it's a taller car, you get a higher seating position and it's actually very, very nice. Other than that though, everything is very, very similar to the Tesla Model 3. Let's check out the back. Now in the Model Y, because the rear seats are a little bit higher, you actually get a much better seating position. I'll get into the Model 3 in a second, but in the Model 3, the floor is kind of higher compared to the seat. So you end up sitting a bit like this. So actually, if you have passengers that you carry around a lot in the back, this is a much more comfortable position than sitting in the back of the Tesla Model 3. And it does feel like there's a little bit more legroom, but let's get in the Model 3 and check that out. So as you can see, I'm back in the Tesla Model 3, and because the floor sits a little bit higher, your knees are in this sort of slightly more awkward position, and there's very slightly less legroom. Now, it's not to say it's uncomfortable in here. I've been in the back here of a friend's car, and it's actually a very comfortable space to be in. But because you have the higher headroom, you have the lower floor to seat ratio, I think the Model Y is better for passengers. Another advantage you have with the Model Y is the higher headroom. In the back of the Tesla Model 3 and other cars, the uh, head height is a lot smaller. You've got this beautiful panoramic roof that you also get in the Tesla Model 3, but a lot more headroom for all of the passengers. Now, one thing I like about the Model Y, and I haven't seen many people talk about this, is you can actually recline the rear seat as a passenger. So if you press this button here that you would normally press to pull the seat forward, you can actually put the seat backward a little bit too. So if you're going on a long journey, your passengers can chill out a bit more and recline the seat. How cool is that?
Okay, so we're now in the Model Y, leaving the Trafford Centre, and uh, my first ever drive in the Tesla Model Y. And I've got to say, actually, that the seat height is actually quite a lot different than I thought it would be. I didn't think it would feel this high, in, in a good way. Um, I just thought that you wouldn't feel much of a difference. On, on photos, you know, the Model Y, as I've mentioned, just looks like a chunkier Model 3. And obviously it's higher, but I didn't think it would feel this different. It really does feel like uh, I've been in a, a Range Rover before, uh, a Porsche uh, Macan, and um, it feels very similar to those types of cars. So very, very nice if you do like the, the um, if you do like you know, sitting higher when you drive. Um, possibly a more comfortable driving position. It, you know, it's obviously hard to tell when I've been in the car for 10 seconds, but it is quite nice. So let's get on to the motorway in a second. Um, and we'll just give it a little spin around the block. We'll put our foot down as well. Now they haven't told me if this is the performance or the standard and I didn't check at the back, so I'll let you know. So we're just gonna carry on down this road a little bit. So as you know, I own the Tesla Model 3 2021 edition and a lot of people have asked me to let them know what the insulation is like. Does it sound quieter than the Model 3? And if I'm completely honest, I don't think it's really any different if anything, I would maybe say the sounds slightly louder. I don't know. Amy, what would you say? Yeah, I'd say a little bit louder. Yeah, I think it sounds, does sound a little bit louder. As I say, I do the stretch of road a lot, almost most weeks, and I can't remember really hearing the, the road noise quite as much as this. It's not terrible. I mean, like, I'm talking minuscule difference. So if I really had to say what it's, what it's like, I would say it's almost the same. If, if if I was in someone else's Model 3, I don't think I would suddenly think this is a, a, huge, a huge difference. So yeah, ride comfort, very, very nice. Sound, about the same as the Tesla Model 3. The ride and the seating position, nice. I actually do like being a little bit higher. I could see why, if you've got a family, this could be a great little car. are coming from a Tesla Model 3. The drive is very, very similar. Everything's in the same place. The center console is the same. The dash and everything works the same. The screen works the same. So, you know, it's a very similar experience if you are coming from a Model 3. If you've never had a Model 3 before, I think you will really enjoy this as well. They're just amazing cars to drive. And if you're coming from an SUV, this could be a great option. I know my brother-in-law has got the, um, Porsche Macan and since they've had a kid they're looking for an SUV so I might be recommending this. Okay so we're going to do a little more to 60 in a second if we can before we have to shoot back. Okay one two three. There we go up to 60. Uh, I think this must be the standard because it feels uh, very similar to my um, long range to check that though but yeah it does feel very very similar the actual this is a slight thing but the I don't know if it's the mirror or the back screen is a lot more tinted it's a little bit harder to see out of the back glass slightly so just a little note there just something I've picked up on that the steering in the Model Y feels very very similar to the Model 3 the Model 3 is quite a sporty feeling car I feel um, and I have my steering set in just the center position. This is set in the center position as well. You can change it to a kind of more relaxed mode or a sport mode. Um, and I think that feels about right for this car. I think if anything, I would like them to maybe make it a little bit smoother. I think when you get a big SUV, you want everything to feel fluffy and smooth. Um, so maybe that's something we can adjust in the settings and play around with. So I'm gonna spin around here. So we've been out for a while driving the Model Y and I've got to say, I'm really enjoying it actually. As I said in the intro, I didn't think I was really gonna be a fan of the Model Y. I felt like it was just a chunky Model 3. I didn't get the looks. I didn't get why you would want it to be slightly taller. 
but actually driving it around, I can see why this would be really good. If you've got a family, it would be fantastic because of the larger boot. Uh, if you've got a lot of passengers regularly, it's much more comfortable sitting in the back because of the um, sort of heightened seating position and more leg room. And actually, even if you've got a company, like my wife has a production company and she's always lugging around big cases and things like that. So actually, if your work or your hobby means that you need a lot more storage space, this could be a really great option to have. It is a little bit more expensive than the Tesla Model 3, but I think for some people it could be the right choice. Now, for me personally, I think I do just about prefer the Model 3 uh, because I like the sportier looks. Um, I don't have a hobby or anything where I need a huge amount of boot space and at the moment I don't have a kids. So for me, I like the kind of more sportier feel, the lower down feel of the Model 3. But, and this really has changed my opinion about the Model Y. I can see why a lot of people are getting very excited about this car. So there we go, that's a quick look at the new Tesla Model Y. Now unfortunately, I've given it back already. I didn't get to have it for the full day. So it's only my quick first hands-on impression. But let me know in the comments section below what you think of the Tesla Model Y and are you thinking of getting one? Now, if you wanna see a review of the Tesla Model 3, you can see that by clicking the video up here in the corner or make sure to check out my other Tesla Model 3 videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.